What's up guys, this is the Brotherman and I am back to bring the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to run off where we left off, we have declared war on the Austrian dogs and we are looking to destroy them. And so far we have decided to attack the city of Stuttgart behind our lines. Let's, let's fight. This is a brand new Armander. Um, he's been sat by this city for some time in order to try and... Fair, just to wait to the right moment to strike. So here we are ready to move. Interesting to see how they deploy. Uh, we deploy first, and this is a lovely hill for an artillery battery. Lovely. So let's make a big long unit of line infantry to advance on the left. Some guards and some Swiss grenadiers to advance on the right. Some good infantry to run up the centre to cover to cover our assault. General in the centre, howitzer to move up with the infantry. Ordering the whole army to attack throws away any chance of gaining a advantage. Even if you have enough proof force to win, you will cost many more men than you needed to. Yeah. AI doesn't want me to attack, it seems. Screw the AI. Come on, deploying a nice neat line. Oh, the nine pounders. They aren't engaging and they are moving. Oh no, now they are. Good stuff. So let's join the lines up here. We might be a bit outmatched on this flank because they've got lots of cavalry, which might cause us some problems, but. We can form square. And to be honest, I might be inclined to move. Trouble is, in my tactics, light infantry are difficult to use. I might run this line to get them into position. I might move two units of light foot over onto this flank. Fire will off. run my the 13th light foot up ahead of my infantry to try and skirmish their cavalry. Their cavalry is being shot at by my artillery. So let's put my light infantry here for now. But I would like to advance them up onto this hill but I'm going to wait till their cavalry move on us. Then we will destroy them with accurate rifle fire and then we will take the hill. Okay, these guys are still focusing on them and I don't want them to. Start plinking at the the infantry that's coming right at us. I want to play a bit of a bit of cat and mouse with their cavalry. Ultimately, I want theirs. I want their cavalry to commit. Cause it's five units of cavalry on this flank, and that's quite a risk. So 
Obviously, let's play stakes to help protect this flank. Good. So they are going to. Good. Our howitzers are targeting the cavalry. Some of my light, inf light infantry are going to get sucked into this cavalry battle, but not for long. My Swiss Jaeger, which look brilliant. Oh, my Scottish light infantry are also there. Fall back into square formation. All my light infantry out on the flank to pick at them as they charge the square. Our men are running for ah, my Swiss Jaegers. Mm, no, they'll, they'll come back. Same can't be said about these guys. Yeah, my my strategy or my formations don't do well when it comes to trying to deal with um, light, inf light infantry, particularly when I'm being offensive. So this is the two of the cavalry units have been destroyed. My infantry is engaging their fusiliers. Hungarian fusiliers. Okay, they've lost their formation, so this could start to be a bit get a bit dicey. It just looks like they're going to come in and engage them in melee combat. There's a land there, so I'm not particularly worried about them. Good, so let's get my Scottish Light Infantry to start destroying some of these cavalry units, and then I can make this regiment of foot go support. Because it's starting to roll up this flank, and that's pretty dangerous. So let's run that infantry unit back to the square. Get these guys back in square formation. Okay, now is the time. How is it to use canister shot? Yeah, they've got to run down. should be okay. Their cavalry is going to break against my square. Again, I have at it. Swiss Jaeger. Absolutely destroy all the units that come in your way. Okay, so you're back to explosive shell. Target the militia land there. You target the militia. I don't want to. I can't move this infantry out of square formation because they will end up leaving my hearts as too exposed. Okay, you move up to help them. Same with you. Overwhelm them a bit. And I've neglected this flank of the battle 
So let's start rolling it up. There we go. Same thing's going to happen to their armed citizenry, because it's not good infantry. Let's get my foot artillery to start attacking the general staff. Actually, no, get one of them to start attacking this square formation at the rear. One them to go after this fusillade garrison unit, and one to go after... Ooh. Archduke Charles. Hi. Brown's a bit of a shame. Get a second to engage this unit of fusiliers. Actually, no. Engage that unit of Landwehr again, because right now these guys might feel a bit isolated. Let's run out my light infantry with fire and on. Yep. They broke, because that's a hell of a lot of infantry shooting at them, and they're about to rout immediately, so everyone abandon that battle. Get your movement on. Good stuff. The general will not help you now. Good, that's the land there gone. They'll probably move on and start attacking the Fusilier Garrison unit. The 72nd Regiment of Foot. Moving a bit further up the hill. Yeah, lots of death here. Hey, all my foot units came back. Let's get all of my artillery. Barrage their artillery. Barrage the general staff. Let's get you out of square and form line again. Let's put my light infantry into the line. You know, we're specifically after their general. So we've killed seven of his staff. Let's just start to Okay, let's get my life and start skirmishing the general unit because he's in range. And the Swiss Jaegers are reloading their rifles. Reload, haven't they? And they're routing damn, we didn't kill him. Hey, you have returned to the battle. My black brother, I haven't, we didn't really get much of a chance to put the black Brunswickers in action, but they have time. Everyone to hit this huge layer unit to get them to route in good order. Come on, Scottish Highlanders, get into position. They were confident, and now they'll play for immediately. Ah, the generals come back just to make sure you're doing okay. Now, 
all that artillery on him. Bye bye, General. So long again. He's back. They just got sniped off. Someone just got sniped off their horse. But let's end it there, because that would be. Uh, it's to take position near Switzerland in case the Russians fancy their, oh, their luck. Ooh, so they've attacked Breslau while we are weak. There's Blucher himself again. Conning's, oh. They were raiding around. Like little scamps they are. Gotta remember, we are no longer allies of the Russians, so that call on garrison has become much more important. But it is a garrison of a city, so it's not exactly a worry to make sure that... Ooh, okay, see, they're moving up an army. They could declare on us. Which, if they did, I think that would that would effectively make it a world war. Because it would be us against every other major power. And they are, pr they are putting themselves into a good position to attack us. Which is a bit concerning. So yeah, I do want to get into a position near near um, Switzerland. And Belgium may be super duper handy if Belgium did anything right now. Same with you, Portugal. But they're on the march, so it might take them a few turns, but they'll get here eventually. So Breslau has been besieged. Got a drill school in Prague. It's a great military academy. Good, and we can just completely see that. Wow. Okay. So you want to come down here. You want to come down here. You might as well go east with a view to move on Warsaw and Lemberg and move this side of the Carpathian Mountains. Crewman report. Corlin still is still recruiting, which is good. Um, can't get any elites, unfortunately. Um, but just keep just keep churning out foot units, to be honest. Let's get a British Dutch Line Infantry unit. But yeah, just keep churning out units. Enemy Raid, Thorn. But at least... We can now drive across the river. So we're in there. We're not in their territory, but we're on this side of the river. We haven't got to risk a river battle. To be honest, we could try and attack Blucher, but that seems like... Not necessarily the way I would want to do it. Henry Paget's ready to attack them if they come across the bridge. I suspect they're going to move east to try and relieve Konigsberg. So let's move my spies on. So right now, all, our bo all their border towns have spies. I am tempted to send this guy on a long walk to Moscow. So when it comes to Stuttgart, that's probably going to be a simple... Yeah, well, it's effectively been fought already. We're going to occupy it. Not going to bother building up any defences, because it's sufficiently far behind the lines. And then this chap's going to move over here. And take position. Wine Estates. Classic University. Actually, I don't, don't really need it, but... Like, there's nothing really... There's, there's literally nothing they can research, so I may as well knock it down. Good, William de Dornberg has earned some spurs. So let's move up our agent line. Let's get you into Transylvania. So let's get Wellington. See, we are at peace with Russia, notionally, but it might, at some point, it may just become convenient to declare on them as well. 
so I might put Wellesley here just to give them pause for thought if they want to do anything particularly sneaky. Wurtenberg's been captured. But let's use James Inglis Hamilton, because I would like to use John Moore, but at the same time, if I attack him from this direction, it may cause him to flee northwest. So I'd rather have James Inglis Hamilton do it, give his army a bit of experience. Let's engage Ludwig Bachmann with no artillery. So it's time to destroy another. And I feel there is not much. There is not much they can do about it. Well, there's not much. There's not be much Austria can do about it at all. Russia is the biggest concern, but even then, that's, even then, that's only short term. Uh, their bigger armies are, are visible, and they're near the front. So, okay. So let's place. Let's put the British Dutch line infantry in the centre, where they can get a maximum amount of support from each other. Although you're not, you're deployed. Oh, that's light infantry. That's making it look funny. Damn this weather, sir! Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. Damn right it does. Case on the plank. flank, three units of infantry with some Brunswick sharpshooters. So you're deploying them. Same arrangement on the left flank. Good stuff with the lights. Powers to stay unlimited for now, it depends on what they decide to do. Two foot units in reserve, because we have no cavalry. General in the centre, good. Okay, ultimately I think... Oh no, my artillery's are firing, so are they going to... Yeah, it looks like they are going to move up. How lovely. But we, I suppose we do have the artillery advantage, so if they don't, well, we can we could afford to just sit here and pound them. So let's get my light infantry to deploy stakes to help defend the flank. Boost forward time a little bit. As their infantry seems to want to bunch up. Okay, I have. Eh, no. I don't really want to just sit here. <laughs> so let's do. So I've completely wasted my stakes. But we will just deploy carefully. I at least want to push up on one flank. So even though we don't have stakes. I have the mighty square. Although I might not want to deploy it at such an oblique angle. Because I'd like to try and chew up this flank of infantry because then it's all on over here. Let's get this unit to barrage this unit of Chevaux Leger. Gone within the range of my Brunswick sharpshooters. And they're soon going to get within range of. Because they're advancing in conga line formation. Like iron filings to a magnet, they just can't help themselves. So there's another Lancer unit moving up over here. Oh, 
the wave ring, that's probably not going to last. Get these guys to form square, get these guys to already fall back. I don't know, it looks like they've changed their mind. They can carry on charging all they like, they're not going to be that useful. Good. Let's move you guys up. Oh no. Uh, keep them in square. So what's going on over here? Cavalry's destroyed. Just routing, they're not shattered or anything. Okay, because they... Okay, let's start to do something like this. Because all these guys are rebalancing to the left flank, so... You are limber, and you. I'm going to limber them and deploy them here because they're still on a bit of a rise, so they'll still be safe. I mean, I'll keep these guys moving up, but I don't think those three are going to be so useful. Cavalry charge. You run over here to get into get into the square formation. Our men are running for Yeah, that's understandable. You did get caught on the hop. But you'll come back. There we go, and the cavalry can't help it, they've just gone straight on. No, you're in a good enough position as you are, actually, that line of artillery, that howitzer. Square formations. Good. Everyone's engaging. Sir. Sir. Our general is under attack. I'm sure he is. Okay, I might move one of those line infantry units a bit closer in to help. No, not you. You start to run in more like that. You run in like that, light infantry up on this bluff behind you. Mm, bit concerned there, bit behind the line. Let's move my British Dutch light infantry over here. No, they're shattered, good stuff. Let's just get you out of line, get you back into line. Get you back into line. No real need to call in my reserves as yet. The Swiss Grenadiers at point blank, though. Infantry Not really making much use of their range advantage against these land there, but you do what you're going to do. Run you in. The trouble is, we don't really have the cavalry to actually. We don't really have the cavalry to back actually massively uh, 
chase them down. Our men are running, sir. It's probably on the left. Oh, it's in the center. farmhouse to put my light infantry in. Okay, here comes they are charging you to get you guys in. You need to commit. You ought to be firing a canister shot for a moment for a long time. I mean, you're running, literally running away from the combat. Good. General retreat. Hundred and sixth should be putting in some good flanking shots. Fortunately as they move more of my troops will actually come into range. Charge on into the land there. Once they beat the land there, they'll go on into the Swiss Grenadiers. Building, sir. Damn right, I've taken the building. My hope was I could use this to skirmish them as they retreat, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Yeah, I'll just get you guys out of the way. Get my artillery firing at this unit that's reformed. Let's get my general over here, chase down this unit of land there. Be an easy easy kill with swamping their general. Although he's doing some damage. Get some spurs on my general. Chopping down militia. That would be the juicier target, but right now there's too many um, units that are still coming back. Let's get my line infantry to continue skirmishing this land there unit. Got a feeling he's going to be occupied by them for some time. Charge onto that unit. Not so. Actually, I do want to kill their general, if possible. Oh, I'll let him fight another day. Okay, now we can get my general over here. We must have caught up with him in this unit of Lambert. Let's turn off all the artillery. Bayonet charge down the hill into this unit. Well, they are sniping from a very long distance. Ok, 
Actually, I think that's everyone. Uh, let's absolutely continue. Let's get my general up here to go after. Firstly, the Swiss Grenadiers. So he's got a chevron on him. Two would be nice. Good. Because, I mean, I could go after some of those units further up, but... If we just go for... Just go for a digestible unit that's still good to kill. Or oh, actually, I might come back in and try to go after these like oh, go after the German fusiliers because these guys are close enough to the line they're just gonna flee anyway. Not bothered about all of them. Let's go after this German fusilier unit. Set my. Send my light infantry to abandon the house. And to continue skirmishing them. Uh, no, they've not escaped yet. But well, they will do soon. Go after them instead. Bit of a ragtag, not a very efficient way to do it. But, you know, this is the first, first recording of the session. So I always expect to be a bit rusty in the first session. God, it's hot. Go after the head of the column. Well, column, quote unquote. So let's do a bit of manual now set to attack. No, nope, you're just quite content to trot around behind them. <laughs> Some of them must have escaped. Well, their general was pretty bad at... Okie dokie, so... Pretty darn good. They've only got 2,000 men remaining, which is not many at all in Napoleon. Um... Hold on for now. I could sally the actually I could sally the garrison out just to go finish them off. Yeah, just auto it. Good stuff. So we're ready. Actually, let's do a bit of spending in Breslau, military academy. Listen, there's nothing else I can build in London. Everything that can be built is built, except for another fort, but I don't need it. Staff College is coming into the mix. I might recruit. Actually, I've got an army. Let's see if we can get what generals can get. John Stewart, Charles Colville. Generals listed 14 out of 24. Holy hell, that's a lot of generals I can have. You know what? Why not? Let's pick up John Stewart. He seems the sort of chap you'd want to blow blow some holes in some Russian cities. So let's get another unit of light foot to go with my rifles, two howitzers, one, two, three, two units of nine pounders, two dragoons, and one light dragoon. Good. So it'd be, actually, it might be interesting to send these guys on a bit of an end around to go hit Bucharest. So do you have a guy there? you are going to march back to this this part of the line ready to move up against Warsaw you will move here ready to move east against Lemberg you will hold position against Breslau not against Breslau key to keep 
I just need to keep an eye on this. Some of these minor nations, like the Pope, Papal States, yeah, they hate us, so they could declare war on us at the drop of a hat. Can't recruit any guns here, unfortunately, so that's a bit of an impediment. Ah, oh, there's Bernie. But you're getting a bit antsy sat there just on your island. Remember, if you declare on me, I will destroy you, and I'll give your islands to the Belgians just to really rub it in. But I need to be careful of these guys, because they hate me, so they could quite easily march. Okay, he's blockade the port. With Nelson. Okay, let's recruit. Couple of units of light foot, a foot, and a six foot will do. Then next time we'll march this uh, Vienna unit over to Budapest. To be honest, Alexander Abercrombie might move in, not to attack them, but to provoke them to assault me. They've got lots of infantry, so we could set up a really good defensive position and shell the hell out of them. That might be a good idea. Let's do it. Let's provoke them. Ah, we've been intercepted, so we will have to attack. Well, it's not exactly a bad thing, but looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for our continuing adventures of Great Britain. Cheers, guys.